Today I am at Jackson Hole Ski Resort in Wyoming. This one has been on my list for a long time. Jackson Hole is home to some of the most advanced skiing in the country, like Corbett's Couillard, which is right up there. Uh, it's closed today, I believe. I might go up and just look down in just to get my uh, blood rushing. I'm going to show you how to ski Jackson Hole in one day. At least this is my experience. Jackson Hole Ski Resort is located in the Teton Range of the Rocky Mountains in Teton Village, Wyoming. You generally fly into Jackson Hole Airport and stay in the town of Jackson Hole, as I did. There's plenty of places to stay at different price ranges. The mountain has over 130 named trails covering 2,500 acres of inbound terrain. The base elevation is at 6,311 feet, making it one of the lower elevations of any ski resort in the Rockies but it has the bragging rights as being the tallest ski resort in the United States with a vertical drop of 4,139 feet. Jackson Hole has 50% expert terrain, 40% intermediate, and 10% beginner. I've skied a lot of resorts. The expert terrain at Jackson Hole is just a bit more expert than you're used to. I started my day at Cody parking lot, which is super close to the famous aerial tram and gondolas and main lifts. If you get there early, it's 30 bucks and a great place to park for the day. I was a little unsure of where to start at Jackson Hole, so I was very happy when I saw a sign for complimentary mountain tours. The tour started at 9.30 and went to noon. Alex was my guide, and he gave me an awesome overview of the resort. Looking at the map, the idea was to go from right to left on the mountain. We took the Tinwinot quad chair to Aprevu, skied some beautiful wide open blues over to the Teton quad. From there, we stayed skiers right and made it over to the Casper quad. There were so many great blue trails accessible from this lift. As you can tell from the map, there's plenty of mid-mountain lifts at Jackson Hole, and there's little reason to ski all the way down to the bottom. After our runs from the Casper lift, we made our way over to Marmot, and then to the Thunder Quad. The Thunder Quad tops out above both Laramie Bowl, which is both blue and black terrain, as well as the Amphitheater, which can be accessed by either a steep blue or some awesome steep black trails. I took Thunder a couple times. My tour completed with a ride up the Sublet Quad. This chair gets you almost to the highest peak on Jackson Hole. Almost. But unlike the highest peak, there is a way to get down on a blue trail. If you take Hanging Rock to Laramie Traverse, scoot around the mountain and look up, you'll be right at the bottom of the famous Corbett's. That's Corbett's. If you want to go to the top of Corbett's, you'll have to take the aerial tram all the way from the base. When my tour ended, I headed over to the Rendezvous Lodge at the top of Marmot Chair and the Bridger Gondola. As lodge food goes, this $18 cheeseburger and fries was actually pretty good. They were a little stingy on the fries though. The view was pretty cool. After lunch, it was time to explore on my own. The tour guide was only allowed to take us on the blues, so now was my chance to try some of the more advanced terrain. I decided to head down to the aerial tram and go all the way to the top of Rendezvous Bowl. I knew Corbett's was closed, but I went to the top and looked over anyway. Here it is, Corbett's. Closed for skiing, but you can take a peek. Yeah, that was awesome. 
After Corbett's, I headed down Rendezvous Bowl, into the central chute, and over to what turned into my favorite run of the day, Cheyenne Gully. I went down the gully through Lower Sublet Ridge and Rollins Bowl, down to the Union Pass Chair. When I got back to base, I had time for one more run. So I headed up Sweetwater to Casper and took the blues all the way down. Well, that's going to do it for Jackson Hole. I am so glad I checked this one off the list. And man, did it live up to its reputation. I consider myself a pretty darn good skier, and this place is next level. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and it gave you some information. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, please like if you liked the video, and please subscribe if you would. I'm working on those subscribers. Until the next one, I'm Every Other Carl, and I'll see ya.